So, you think you're it's untouchable? It's a small process, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really just trying to stay focused and, um, you know, keep God first and stay patient, man. So y'all y'all, y'all keep rocking with me, man. Oh, road to 200 subs, man. Road to 200 subs. Right now we at 133 or 134. Get Let's get to 200 subs, all right? Let's go. Hey. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Hold up clean. Yeah. You got the pirate shit, yeah. nigga. Pittsburgh shit, nigga. Hey. I love when I see motherfuckers wearing Pittsburgh shit. Hey. Sorry, Space King. Right. So, I definitely might have heard this, but like I said, I haven't heard Lil' Kim. I haven't even listened to Lil' Kim since, like, I had to be, like, I was just a kid. Like, probably, like, five, seven or some shit, seven years old, last time I heard Lil' Kim. Um, I heard her recently. I, I seen Lil' Kim perform recently on BET a few years ago or some shit like that. Um, but, um, yeah, man, it's that's the only part I remember so far. I don't think I remember anything else about this shit, so... Let's hop into it, man. This this is crazy so far. She fucking spitting. And she's spitting like nonchalant. You know what I'm saying? Like she's just sitting at the podium spitting nonchalant. I fucking appreciate it. Got the Steeler Jordan on. But you can call me Miss White. White. Most people know me as Little Kim, the head of the LaBella Mafia. Oh. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. She just did a whole switch up. I thought that first song was the song, so I guess not. Maybe, you know, I forget who does that, but they'll like start the music video off with a with a different video, and but it's not really the video. It's just a sneak peek. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what she did. I forget who does that. What artist does that? Um, but yeah, man, this this is good. You know what I'm saying? I like how it just slowed down, became a little bit. Jazzy, you know what I'm saying? I like that shit. This time around, I switched up my flow. Got rid of the pits and put rocks by the door. This time around, it ain't like before. Rockin', Ben's coppin', keep the box this real hip hop, mommy. Check the facts. This shit is so fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just fire. You know what I'm saying? At this point, I really don't have nothing else to say. This shit's fire, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, real shit. And she was the only one doing this. Now we got so many of these Lil' Kims. Everyone say, oh, she trying to be another Nikki. Nikki set the book. No, Lil' Kim set that blueprint. It was in the fur coats and the, the you know what I'm saying, the grittiness. With it. No one was doing that. No one was doing green hair or whatever color hair. She got green hair with the green fits and she like green in the green room. You know what I'm saying? Nobody was doing that. Nikki started doing it with the pink and shit like that. All the, Lil' Kim set that blueprint. Fashion ain't my fault. I don't know how to rock this Hollywood thing. I need to let me stop. Come back to the light, mom. I started the shit. How soon we forget? I'm the heart of the shit. So keep your tacky ways and go bang you out. This time around, you better watch your mouth. This time around, you gon' hang the bang. This time around, you better do it and thing. You probably try to stop me. Don't get your life cooking. I know I got you shook. It's best stop clock, girl. Came back from Brooklyn. That's that Kanye. That shit was hard. That shit had me vibing like a motherfucker at the end, dog. That, you know what's crazy? First, first, I've been, first, I've been trying to make my own beats, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm real heavy on the sampling and shit, you know what I'm saying? And Kanye is one of the, one of the niggas that I look, you know, he's one of the best samplers known to man, you know what I'm saying, um, now, this whole beat sounded like Kanye, but I didn't even know and acknowledge that it was, Con like, I no, I knew, but I, I didn't acknowledge 
like I must have forgot that Kanye, because I was expecting Kanye to rap on that shit. You know what I'm saying? But then at the same time, I'm looking, I'm thinking back to all these years when she released this. Kanye was making beats, so as soon as that sample came on, like that that sample, I knew. I said, "Oh yeah, it is Kanye on the beat." You know what I'm saying? I fucking forgot it was Kanye on the beat. So that it's just this shit was a good ass song, bro. Yo, if Lil Kim wouldn't have like ducked off, I don't know why she ducked off from the rap scene, but if she wouldn't have ducked off, she would have been. She would have still been like, she could still go number one today. I feel like Lil Kim could be number one on the Billboard today. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just crazy. I feel like Lil Kim is capable of winning a Grammy in this day and age. You know what I'm saying? I, I really, I really think so. Like if she wouldn't have ducked off from the rap scene, and even though she ducked off, if she did happen, like hypothetically speaking, if she came back into the rap scene, she might still be able to. Pull something off, you know?